Hello. I would say good morning, but I think we've just gone into afternoon territory because I forgot to start my vlog earlier on. It's Wednesday today. Um, I didn't vlog anything last week because I was feeling very poorly. <laughs> um, basically, um, I'm probably boring at anyone that watches these vlogs now with my updates on... Oh, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I'm probably boring people with the updates on how I'm feeling and what's going on with my dizziness. But basically, to cut a long story short, because I was getting bad anxiety, I asked the doctor if I could go back onto a tablet I tried years ago, which is for anxiety and depression, that kind of thing. And it's called Sertraline. It's quite a well-known one, I think. Um, and I've never had any problems with it before, other than a week or two of feeling sick initially, and then... I sort of get over that and it starts to take effect but this time I tried it and it's absolutely flawed me the side effects I've had were horrible I, I had the usual sickness it was very much akin to the morning sickness I had when I was pregnant with my daughter um, so I had a really bad sickness um, headaches visual disturbances feeling really tired which I knew I would probably get and I've had before but accompanied with that were kind of heart palpitations feeling anxious hot flushes so and getting sort of feverish which I've never had with them before and it's a little bit worrying when I get like that because I'm not obviously used to it and I also had excruciating backache on one of the days um and apparently aches and pains in your body are one of the side effects all in all vile absolutely vile time so i had to stop those um so yeah basically last week i didn't feel up to vlogging very much i'll be honest i'm dressed very 70s today i've gone mad for the mustard again as you can see <laughs> I, I kind of match my picture in the background mustard so anyone been watching the new doctor here by the way just reminded me personally i'm not sure I'm not sure, like, I, I actually liked the first episode, I've watched the first and second now. Um, I think the stories are going to be good. Not 100% sold on Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. She's okay, but I don't know, I sometimes feel like she's too much like David Tennant's Doctor. And it's almost like she's trying to be him. And I was watching a few scenes in the first episode of the new series. And I was kind of sitting there thinking, this reminds me of like a college um, sort of class or a theatre group that's doing performing arts that are kind of play acting. And it was almost like she'd been asked to improvise or come into the middle of the room and act out a scene for Doctor Who. And it was kind of a bit, I don't know, like I didn't buy her as the Doctor completely like there were scenes that were good and I liked bits of her doctor but other bits I'm a bit I'm not 100% sold yet I don't know but yes anyway enough about that um how are you you okay you all right I hope so well I've not had much of a busy week so far oh I'm taking you into the dungeons like mm. um I've basically just been just I don't know just plodding along doing bits and bobs I'm currently waiting for a delivery um because it is nearly my daughter's birthday and obviously Christmas is coming up um and she's already started asking me how many sleeps and on my birthday what am I getting um so we uh oh, nearly breaking the door so we've already made a start on Christmas and birthday and one of the things she keeps going on about is one of these I don't know if you can see it. it's one of these little live pets, tweety birds. I don't know, but it's, I mean, personally, I think it looks a lot of money for what it is. And because they talk to each other, apparently, I've never seen them in action. We got her a little friend, little pink birdie. And then, do you know what? I'm really struggling to know what to get for Alex because he's so young. He's still, he's still a baby, isn't he? And we've got so many of Kira's old toys. He, he, we've got a whole box full of Duplo. We've got so much stuff. I mean, the rooms are full of of baby stuff. Um, so he's got loads of stuff. He plays with the Sylvanians, which I'm currently surrounded by. <laughs> um, 
and yeah i'm just struggling to know what to get him yeah i don't i don't know i've settled at the minute for an aqua draw which i thought is a nice idea it so he can draw and he, he won't make so much of a mess kira used to have one when she was little and she liked it but like if we had any more children like boys or girls i just think oh my god what would they have for christmas and birthday it'd have to be just clothes and that's kind of what we're settling on because i think you can buy kids way too much like when i was younger i had a few toys that i played with so i had lego barbies uh i think that was it legos barbies and teddy bears was the things i played with i don't remember anything else and i had like um stuff for drawing and coloring and painting I, I was quite arty but other than that there weren't many toys about whereas now there's tons of stuff like loads so it's just it's crazy i don't know how kids themselves choose let alone the parents because you've got to kind of you've got to kind of ask yourself well what's most appropriate what haven't they got what do they need what don't they need anyway i need to stop waffling now and get on with some stuff um later today we've got parents evening for my daughter so see how she's gotten on there hi just had a delivery you're currently on my shelving unit it's where you're sitting the sun's all everywhere i've just had a delivery and it's a present for kira and i think this is going to be for christmas for her so I just thought I'd show you. Ah, now, you know that she's like obsessed with Sylvanian families. I mean, she's got arguably too many. And I swore to myself, you know, I'm not gonna go overboard. I'm not gonna buy tons more Sylvanian stuff. But I found this on a website. I can't remember the website, but it was cheaper than I found it anywhere else. So I thought, why not, why not? adorable i was gonna get this for her last year um ooh. oh my god don't even get me started oh don't send me that they've sent me a sylvanian families magazine with all new stuff in oh god why why do this to me I'm, I'm more i'm more excited than my daughter will probably be when she opens it on christmas look at it it's the seaside restaurant I love it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Do I open it now just to have a little? Yeah, I might get a, a couple more Sylvanian bits and bobs. But yeah, it's mainly that, to be fair. But yeah, this is the main Sylvanian present. Although she does keep going on about um, uh, the ballet theatre that you can get. Because last year her grandma kindly bought her some ballerina type sylvanians so yeah um potentially grandma may get that we're not sure yet we'll see anyway i've got to get ready to go soon because we've got to go up to the school ready for parents evening oh, and the weather is being weird again it's gone really sunny today and feels quite warm so i'm just like what's going on this time last year i swear i was in heavy coats and i've barely worn my coat so far this autumn very strange okay. who's just had a really good report from nursery from school yeah your teacher's really proud of you good wasn't she you. yeah i'm really proud of you good girl what did she say can you remember you're really good friend to all your classmates and what else did she say, Dan? Prince of Lucas as well. Yeah, the naughty kid. And information. <laughs> and you remembered all the special information in the information box. You remember stuff that all the other children don't. What else she did she say? Trump. <laughs> she just said you're amazing, basically. You're the best. Did That's she say Trump? <laughs> don't be silly. <laughs> and what did we get you as a treat? <laughs> Cookies. Which you've eaten, I can smell your breath, you smell of cookies. And Alex has just destroyed a gingerbread man, haven't you, Alex? Where is he? Alex just gave me a Alex! Pickle. Alex! Oh, he's Got just chucking pepper pigs everywhere. Got pockets. Alex! You still got that gingerbread man? Hello! Good morning. Oh, my hair's doing some weird stuff today. <laughs> 
Alex. You're right, Alex. Got my boy at home with me today. It's Thursday. And because I'm so sick of watching Peppa Pig, I feel like I've watched every episode ever made about 50 times each. Um, we've upgraded to Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom, haven't we? Who? My boy? We've got a banana now. Got a banana now. But you had a yogurt, haven't you? Banana. Banana. Mm, yeah. Oh, I hate bananas. Yeah. Next week, Kira's off school as well. So, first term already gone really quick. So, yeah. That's going to be weird having her at home for the first time since she started school, which is weird. Oh, yes, by the way, we've... Um, made a start on the Halloween decorations. We've gone a bit cobweb mad compared to last year though. And yes, Jeffrey's back out. Say hello Jeffrey. No, oh, I'm out of breath. I've only walked upstairs. I was looking at a house the other day. This is completely random. Um I was looking at a four bedroom house that's for rent in our village for 800 pounds which is really good in this area for a four bedroom home. But it's one of those townhouse type situations and I thought, oh, it's a three-story house. So you've got your ground floor, then your next floor with like your living room or your bedrooms, whatever, and then the top floor with like the master bedroom. No, this house I've seen, you walk in and it's got the living room on the first level, the ground floor and like a little toilet. Then you've got basement level. Because our village is so hilly, I guess the basement level it goes out onto the garden so it's like makes sense to have it on those levels so yeah you go downstairs to the lower level and it's your kitchen and dining area and it goes out to your garden then you've got another floor with the bedrooms and the bathroom on then your top floor with your master bedroom and your spare bedroom on which would be my office and wow i just if we could afford it I would 100% want to rent that place. It looks amazing. It's a newish build too, which is good. But my God, those stairs, they would be a killer. An absolute killer. Sneaking up on my boy. Sneaking up on my boy. Where is he? Where is he? Alexander. Alex, where's he gone? He's hiding over there. Alex. Where's that boy? There he is! There's the cheeky one! Where's he gone? Oh my goodness! Quick! Put him away! Oh okay. good! Where's that boy? He's gonna put him what sits? He's gonna make a mess! Where's that boy? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Hi. Who's that boy? Get those cheesy feet off. Those cheesy feet. Who's that now? Oh, cheesy feet. Oh. I'm tired out. I haven't done anything. Oh. You cheeky boy. He's that wiping what's it dust all over the place now. Thank you. Just had to change Kira's bed covers. And anyone knows how much of a mission that is. I hate having to change the bed sheets and everything. But it's um it's not so easy when I've got this little stinker rolling all over the place trying to help me. Yeah. And now you're just wrecking Kira's bed, aren't you? Wrecking the place. Try and tidy. I feel like I'm going around in circles. But what are you doing? Do I bother? What are you doing, mate? So, my boy has just decided to unload the washing machine and he's now being very helpful and trying to hang up the stuff. You're going to get these ones? Yeah, good boy. Are you helping mummy with the housework? Oh, thank you. Shake it off. That's it. Such a good lad, such a good lad. Thank you, Alex. Domestic God you are. I've just received some really amazing news. 
I found out that my niece, who is six years younger than me, um, was so close in age because there's a big age gap between me and my sister. Um, basically, she passed her driving test today, which I'm really thrilled about because they all live in Devon now, so they're kind of out the way and it's a bit tricky for her to get around. It's going to be amazing for us. I'm so happy, so proud of her. And it just, it's just took me back to the day that I passed my test, which was well over 11 years ago now, but I can remember it like it was yesterday. Um, yeah, and it's just the best feeling. I'm sure a lot of other people watching probably remember what it was like to pass the driving test. It's amazing. I'm just cooking lunch, just busy doing some pasta, do some tuna and pasta. Yes, excuse the mess in this kitchen. I've just done a ton of washing up, which is over there. And now I'm just kind of plodding along. I've been trying to um, get on with a bit more studying. For this new module of Open University, I have to study from books, which I think I've shown in a vlog before. But it's it's hard work, I'm not going to lie. It's not... I haven't done one of the assignments yet. Um, I haven't gotten that far in. I'm only a couple of weeks in so far. Um, but I don't know, I'm just finding it a little bit tricky in terms of being interested in it. Um, obviously the last module I did was about the human body and how it works and health problems and stuff like that. Um, so... It was more interesting to me whereas this module although i am interested in psychology and how the mind works obviously i'm gonna have to be if i want to go into hypnotherapy um but i'm just finding it really hard to be interested um not finding it as exciting as i did last year and i'm kind of dreading how i'm going to get on with my first assignment which is at the start of november i think um so once I've done this week's study, I'm going to have to probably start on it, just because I like to be ahead of myself. Um, so yeah, hopefully, at the minute I just kind of feel like, I don't know, like, will I do it? Am I good enough? Oh, morning everyone. I tell you what, the thing I don't like about Kira starting school is the idiots that park up there. Like, I'm going to be honest, I'm one of those mums just lately that has parked up by the school. But I don't park on double yellows, I don't park over people's drives, I don't park in awkward places. I'm a considerate parker when it comes to being near schools. I never block anyone in, or I try not to, and I think I'm quite considerate. And today, I was, because at the bottom of the little cul-de-sac where her school is, there's like a little islandy bit just outside the gates and you can kind of go around it to come back up the road. So where I'd parked, I had to kind of do that. So as I went to drive down the road, this was after drop off time, um, normal drop off time. So most of the cars were leaving or had left at this point. And I went to go and a whole stream of cars had started to come up but instead thinking oh no she's coming down i need to wait to let her pass because the traffic was in their way on their side of the road no they just carried on going and they all started blocking up the road and then i was just stuck there there was a car up my backside um so i couldn't reverse it took them ages to start reversing and i started reversing we were going back and back down the road loads of cars on this side of us and i was just like well i'm not reversing all the way down there so in the end I had to pull sort of onto someone's drive like there was a wider bit of path to let these morons through. I mean, it's co common sense. It's like, do people forget how to drive some days? It ju just baffles me, really pisses me off. Me and the boy are gonna have some breakfast, aren't we, Alex? He's watching Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Hello. Here he is. Here's my boy. Good morning. Lovely boy. He was an absolute nightmare last night um but yeah he's been not sleeping not going down to sleep like he used to he's always been really good for just having his bottle on the evening and going to bed but the last couple of weeks he's um he's not been doing that um and it's been just horrendous i don't i don't know if you'll be able to hear that 
but above me and through this radiator there's like a weird noise and it's making me paranoid and I'll tell you for why last year around the time of my mum's funeral very unfortunate timing we had a major leak through the ceiling um which i don't know if you can see there's all like dirty patches on this side of the living room ceiling um and it initially started off the bath was leaking up that end of the living room so it was coming down the tap wasn't sealed or something so it was leaking down the bath and leaking through the light fittings which is I'm safe, I'm sure. And then one morning we came down and there's water pouring through this bit all on the floor in the living room. There was mess all over the floor at the minute. Um, and massive puddle all over the floor and it kept leaking and it was leaking in the boiler cupboard. So we had to keep putting down like bowls and yeah, just everything. Um, and it took the landlord, no word of a lie, over a month to sort this fucking boiler out. Um, and he hasn't put a new one in or anything. He's just kind of left it, um, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I do get paranoid about it because sometimes it does make weird noises that make me a little bit on edge, I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to just move out of here into my own home. Be amazing. Even if we owned this place ourselves, do you know what, I wouldn't even mind. We could just tart it up and do it our way and Dan could actually do a better job of painting. Well, I've had a productive morning so far. This is what I've been getting up to. I found this in the drawer from maybe last year or the year before and I've just been having a bit of fun. It's all stuff I've done in the past and uh, yeah, because I'm just a big kid. That is my creation for today. A little bit questionable. I forgot what colour a toucan was, but I went I went a bit crazy, you know. I think you're allowed to in an adult colouring book. Do you ever just look at your own children and just think They're so cute? I can't go for your toucan. Look at his face. Look at it. Oh what he's squinting for. It's beautiful. Look at that. Who's that in there? Who's that boy? He's beautiful. He's so beautiful. You're so stunning. Come back. I love him. He's so cute. Can't believe you're my little boy. You're so adorable. Apart from when you're naughty. But we'll, we won't talk about that. Um, excuse me. Ruining my fabulous artwork. Who do you think you are? Trying to just have a coffee. A little cookie in peace. You have to get involved, don't you? Hey? has to share it with me not the coffee obviously because if he had coffee my god he'd be up the walls i think it oh naughty boy you've already had a biscuit this morning here you go what do you say say ta oh oh well that's lost forever in my coffee thank you alex for that, uh, 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 looking really pleased. You said you lip ruined my coffee. Just had a delivery. I've ordered a few more things from New Look because I'm always addicted to doing that. Oh, camera's struggling to focus today. And I've ordered some beautiful things. I ordered a beautiful, it's very wedding esque, shall we say. Um, very bridal looking, it's like a lacy white play suit. I ordered it in a size medium because that's all they had left. Um, and it was huge, like I'm talking huge. It was, um, I thought I was playing it safe by getting a medium and thought, oh, it's definitely going to fit me because I'm like, you know, in case it comes up a bit small. But I swear to God, like the sizing was just bizarre. And I don't think my body shape's changed that much since like a year or two ago. Um, and basically, the length of the body was ridiculous. The crotch was about two or three inches lower than it should have been. And the top just seemed to have loads of material just gaping around the shoulders and it was lower cut than it should have been. Very strange. So it came back in stock in a small, so I got that. Roll neck top to go under stuff, just plain thing. I've also got a mustard little bag. Um, and I got a little kind of 
floral tea dress type thing with little buttons down the front. I don't know why I'm showing you the things in the bags because there's no point really, so I'll prop you there a minute. Because the other thing I want to try on now, and it's a little watch. This was originally, um, I don't know, like £17, which seems a bit steep for just a little watch. Now, I don't wear watches very often because I just look at my phone for the time instead, but I really liked this one. So, yeah, this is the watch with little beautiful flowers on it. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. And it went out of stock for ages, so I had to get it as soon as it came back in. I'm going to have to try these on later at some point when old stinky pants goes to sleep. 